Another Audacity fork has entered the battlefield. See, I told you guys that there is nothing to worry about with Audacity's new terms of service and the spooky telemetry that they decided to add because it's open source software. People could just fork it and boy, have they been forking it. So today I'm going to compare the two most popular forks of Audacity as of today. So we have uh, Cookie Engineer's fork of Audacity, which I showed you guys yesterday. Um, still doesn't appear to have an official name yet. It looks like it got renamed to Temporary Audacity, but as that name implies, I'm sure it's just temporary while they still uh, try to come up with a new one. But then now there is the beloved Sneedacity by Sneed's Feed and Seed. Uh, so there are some minor differences between uh, these two programs. Um, so for example, if we just look at them uh, here in a file manager, uh, we'll go back to the Audacity forks. So if we go into our Sneedacity, and then if we take a look at uh, this one, Audacity, so there are some additional files uh, and some additional folders. Like there's this um, PKG folder inside of Sneedacity, which doesn't appear inside of Audacity. And I think this is because uh, Sneedacity was rejected from the AUR for some reason. So this uh, PKG build just gives you the option to build it as an Arch package anyway. Um, there's also a uh, manifesto <laughs> included in Sneedacity, which doesn't appear in Audacity. So let's see what this is about. So in the manifesto, we can see that Sneed equals feed. Uh, we are on the spectrum and we are proud. So very important file uh, that needs to be in here. Maybe the whole program doesn't work if this file isn't included. There's also some differences to the code of conduct. Uh, both of them have code of conducts, which is uh, interesting. Uh, so if we just take a look at Audacity's or Cookie's fork of Audacity, temporary Audacity, whatever he's going to call it. Um, you know, it's kind of the fairly standard thing that a lot of people are doing in software these days. Uh, you know, welcome and inclusive language, all that good stuff. And then if we take a look at Sneedacity, take a look at this code of conduct. All right, so we want uh, welcoming inclusive language, but we also want to be respectful of differing viewpoints about farming, um, focusing on what is best for the farm, and showing empathy towards other farmers. And if you're interested in uh, adding to Sneedacity, doing any development with it, uh, certain things are unacceptable, like mo posting, uh, public or private Sneedassment, uh, publishing other people's private feed. So can't be doing things like that. Uh, if you want to contribute to Sneedacity. Now, as far as building these from source goes, um, it's pretty much the same uh, steps. So we can see the build instructions here uh, for Sneedacity, but again, they're gonna be the same for Audacity as well. Uh, so I am on Linux. Oh, well actually there's a few uh, prerequisites that you need. So you need to make sure that you've got uh, these programs installed so that you can actually build it from source. And then just go ahead and download it with git into your terminal. Uh, so I already have it right here inside of Sneedacity. Uh, so I'm going to go into my build directory, which I decided to name Sneed, and I'm going to put in the build instructions. And it doesn't take a very long time to uh, build either one of these, whether we're talking about temporary audacity or Sneedacity. And we'll go ahead and make it.
All right, we're just over two thirds of the way done with the build. Um, and actually, I don't think I specified a number of cores during make, so I, it might actually be possible to do it uh, even faster than this, but three quarters of the way done now. Yeah, so apparently, uh, to give you guys a little bit of history, so I think um, Sneedacity was actually one of the names proposed. Um, like if we go to the project name election attempt, it was going to be proposed as a name here. Uh, but if you go through like the history here, you can see that there's a lot of uh, things being removed. So yeah, <laughs> people just decided to create the separate Sneedacity, which that's the great thing about open source software, you know, even if you disagree with something as simple as the name, you could just fork it and uh, change the name. There are a couple of other differences, though, like there's some, uh, I guess, maybe like skinning differences or, well, you guys will see when we go ahead and run the binary. A uh, couple of other differences with Sneedacity. Uh, also, I think the Sneedacity binary is slightly larger. We'll have to check on that uh, once it finishes. It looks like we're almost done. All right, so we'll go ahead into our, um, actually let's open a new tab here. And so we're gonna go into cookie, then debug. Uh, so this is where we have the audacity binary. I went ahead and built that before I started the recording. Uh, so we'll just run that to show you guys what it looks like. All right, so welcome screen. Um, pretty much the same as regular Audacities. A uh, few minor differences here. Like I think there's um, a link to Audacity's website in the regular uh, binary, but this has been removed in this one. And then we have the actual program itself. Um, and let me see, I think, uh, yeah, so I already connected my microphone and so you can see the waveform as I'm recording. So there you go, that's one option if you don't want any spooky telemetry going on when you're trying to record audio. Uh, no, don't want to save that. And then we'll try out Sneedacities. Uh, bin debug Sneedacity. So there you go, <laughs> some of the uh, art style differences. Um, let's see, get the official released version of Sneedacity, check online. Um, oh, wait a minute. Skip that. All right, so yeah, there's this link, which I think uh, goes, yeah, so this goes to the official Audacity site, which I don't know why uh, that's in Sneedacity. Like, maybe they're just trying to troll them, but I would think that they would want this to go to their GitHub or something like that. Um, and let's see, yeah, and then like manuals and everything are still going to work the same. And then there you go, that's Sneedacity. And here I have the uh, folders open in my GUI uh, to show you the different binaries. So the Sneedacity binary, 212.1 uh, megabytes, and then Audacity's or Cookie Audacity, 211.2. Uh, so just a very slight, like not even a whole uh, megabyte of difference. Um, yeah, so Sneedacity, you know, obviously it's kind of like a joke repository, but this is yet another option. If you want to record audio without them city slickers sneaking onto your farm and taking a peek at what kind of tractor you're using, disturbing the cows and whatnot with their bioluminescence. Links in the description if you want to build it yourself.